After 2018, the Crimean Peninsula was connected to Russia by a humongously long bridge. It is the longest bridge in Russia and one of the largest structures in the world. It was built on Putin's personal orders and was supposed to be a triumph and a symbol of his era in Russia. But no matter how much you admire this undeniably great engineering structure, Ukraine plans to destroy it. And they have their reasons. Ukrainian top officials and generals have repeatedly stated that as soon as they have the opportunity, they will immediately destroy the Crimean Bridge. But why and how is Ukraine going to destroy this bridge? Subscribe to the channel and here we go. After Russia annexed Crimea in 2014, Putin wanted to tie the peninsula to mainland Russia as tightly as possible. The decision was made to build a bridge to Crimea. This bridge was Putin's personal triumph, like the triumphal arc of Roman emperors after another victory over barbarians. And so, when the bridge was built, Putin personally came to the grand opening of the bridge and even drove a truck across it. So at that moment, the Ukrainians decided to destroy the bridge by all means. With the beginning of Russia's full-scale war against Ukraine, this became the fix idea for all Ukrainians. The Crimean bridge must be destroyed, the Ukrainians insisted, just as the Romans once said, Carthage must fall. After the Ukrainian military destroyed the flagship of the Russian Navy, a cruiser named the Moskva, the next big target was the Crimean bridge. But in order to destroy such a bridge, one must have a powerful weapon. You need a missile that is capable of enormous destructive power. Ukraine does not have such a weapon right now, but they expect such weapons to be supplied by Western allies soon. Some engineers argue that no missile, except a nuclear one, can completely destroy the Crimean bridge. But it doesn't need to be destroyed in the literal sense. It will be enough just to damage the bridge enough to make it stop functioning. Ukrainian intelligence recently obtained engineering documentation of the Crimean bridge. This will allow the Ukrainians to figure out where to launch a missile strike so as to guarantee that the bridge will be disabled. And it seems that such a weak spot on the Crimean bridge is somewhere in the area of the Iron Arches. All that remains is to get the right missiles to strike. The destruction of the Crimean bridge would be a huge blow to Putin himself and would have a detonating bomb effect in Russian society. It would be a blow to Putin's credibility and greatly undermine the spirit of the Russian army. But this is not the main reason why the bridge must be destroyed. The fact is that the artery that feeds the entire southern grouping of Russian troops passes through the Crimean bridge. It is this grouping that has occupied the southern regions of Ukraine, as you can see on the map. So naturally, the Ukrainians would like to cut off this supply line. And for that, it is enough to at least take the bridge out of operation. Without the Crimean bridge, the Crimean Peninsula will be isolated from Russia. This will make it easier for Ukraine to liberate its southern regions and perhaps even Crimea itself. But this requires a weapon with a range of up to 300 kilometers and destructive power, which would be enough to destroy the railroad tracks. The Crimean bridge is constructed so that the railway line is separate from the automobile line, but the weapons of the Russian army are supplied mainly by rail. Therefore, first of all, it is necessary to damage the railroad bed, and the damage must be so devastating that it would take months to repair. It is obvious that the American M142 HIMARS system can damage the Crimean bridge under the current conditions. It is capable of firing super powerful missiles at a distance of more than 300 kilometers. And such systems were promised to Ukraine. They must be delivered as early as the summer of 2022. But there's also one more nuance. The Americans asked the Ukrainian military not to strike at the territory of Russia so as not to provoke Russia into escalation. And then we have the question, what territory is the Crimean Bridge on? On one side, it's adjacent to Russian territory. And on the other side, it's connected to Crimea. And Crimea is recognized by the Western community as Ukrainian territory. Well, we'll just have to wait and see if the Ukrainian military can implement their plan. 
Do you think that the Ukrainian military will be able to achieve this goal? And what might be Putin's reaction to the destruction of the Crimean Bridge? Leave your comments in the section below and we would love to read them.